Hey guys, so welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen. Today I'm sharing ways you can use $1 placemats to make fall DIYs. DIY I'll be using this pumpkin from a Dollar Tree it can be any pumpkin but this is kind of the largest one for one of these placemats so for this placemat and all of these placemats I picked these up at Dollar General and they are only one dollar so what I did here was I just took my pumpkin placed it over the top of my placemat and traced around it so I was able to cut out that pumpkin shape so this is what it looks like and then once that was done I did cut it out and then now I'm just using a glue stick which I will let you know that glue sticks do work pretty well for these placemats but if you wanted to use something just a little bit more there's a couple of times they were kind of peeling up from the edges so I just used like a dab of hot glue and then they stayed pretty secure so you're going to see at the top it is a little messed up because when I was taking that leaf off it was kind of peeling back but that's okay because we end up covering that anyways. I had these leaves and I want to say they have these this year as well at Dollar Tree but I picked these up last year never used them and I just thought that I would kind of cover up that stem the hole and then the piece that I did mess up it kind of covers that welcome up just a little bit but when you're looking for like different ways and I kind of try to move the leaves around uh, it still looks pretty dang cute and then I thought for the center I would just add a bow Next up placemat, I thought I would use a lot more of these animals, but I kind of opted for more of the pumpkins. And then I did use one of the animals later on in this video, but I decided to go with a lot of the pumpkins. I'm using this, it is actually a wall shelf from Dollar Tree and it came in a two pack. So they had actually smaller ones. They have really, really long ones and they have like just the normal ones that they usually have. But I cut all of these out, and yes, this is a little time consuming, but I figured for $1 placemats, you can't beat the price of those. And I'm just using my glue stick once again. You could probably use Mod Podge, so you could really use anything you wanted. You could probably use just regular liquid glue if you chose to. Uh, but I just always go right to the good old glue stick. This pick your own pumpkins that was actually from the first placemat that I used and I actually used almost that entire placemat in the first video. So I think I made like three or four DIYs with that, which I think is kind of cool that you're only using a $1 placemat to make a ton of different DIYs. I decided just to add some twine along the top of this sign. And then of course you had to embellish it just a little bit. I did tie it off right in the back so that twine wouldn't move. And then once it was flipped over, I was like, I've got to use something, I've got to add something. And I use a lot of these little green leaf pieces and these are from just bunches of florals from the good old Dollar Tree. So the florals that are the greenery that you usually throw away keep it around and then I just put this mom on top these are from Hobby Lobby and then just some little balls that are from a Dollar Tree floral piece glued them to the edges and that is it for this I think this cute little sign turned I think this turned out so cute The next one I'm using one of these little wooden fence pieces from Dollar Tree and the first thing I did here was just cut off that twine and then now I'm going to be painting it I just decided to use the color truffle by Waverly chalk paint and you could probably use any sort of brown for this whatever suits your fancy uh, I just want to go with a darker color for this you could use stain which stain would probably be really pretty on this or make your own stain with some paint and some water it would be so cute. I just love these little fence posts. I picked up a couple of these because I have a couple DIYs in mind. Uh, I just have not made them yet, of course. So once that was done, I'm using one of these wooden pumpkins. This one is actually from Hobby Lobby. I like these ones because they are not like the ornaments. So they didn't have the holes on the tops of the stems and you don't have to fill them in. You can just buy them like this and I think you get like eight or 10 for only $1.19 when, when it was at least 40% off. So I don't know if it's 40% off now at Hobby Lobby or more, so you can get these pretty inexpensive. Using my hot glue, I just glued on to the fence so I didn't get it like in between the little fence or in like hot glue my piece to the cardboard because it happens often. And then I decided to use one of those little squirrels from that same placemat. So I thought this was cute and squirrels, 
I know they're out like all summer and all the time, but I don't know why squirrels just give like a cute little fall vibe to me. Uh, and then I just use one of those die cut wooden pieces from Dollar Tree, the little leaf. And then I'm going to be adding some twine to the top because I thought I'd make like a fun little garland along the top of the fence. At these stickers, I have no idea where they came from, but I like those little banners at the bottom. So I thought that I would just stick them on top of the twine. And then later on, I did see like a little tiny squirrel and like some nuts and stuff. So I may go back and just like make this just a little more detailed as far as like having a little baby squirrel in there and maybe like an apple or something. But I just chose to do this banner for now and... I think this one is adorable. This would be like a really good, cute little shelf sitter. I was done. I looked at it and I was like, this definitely needs some sort of bow on the pumpkin. And these bows are from Amazon. I use these all the time in the black and white. I have some red ones I use for Christmas time. And I think this one turned out adorable. So for this DIY, I'm going to be using some of these wooden pumpkins once again, and I'm going to be painting them with a color pumpkin in Waverly. It's what I did with the other pumpkin as well. It's actually the only orange that I have on hand. And yes, I did grab a tiny little bottle because I probably will not be using any color of orange paint until next fall or next Halloween. Uh, actually, I don't do Halloween DIYs. I'm just not like into Halloween. Like I don't think, I think like a lot of the stuff is cute, but I just don't, we don't decorate for Halloween. We have like some cutout pumpkins that usually don't have candles in them because we don't buy them or light them up. Like we cut out pumpkins and that's really it for the Halloween season and go trick or treating. Uh, so here I'm just adding that placemat at the bottom of these pumpkins. And then this is a placemat from the first placemat. So I've already used this three different times and I think that's really cool. So I just decided to use these little wooden leaf stickers. I have had these for years and I think I picked them up on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And then I did sand a wood sign down. This is from a garage sale and I've just had this sitting around for a while, but I didn't want to paint it because I kind of liked the way it looked after it was sanded. So I decided to grab these three pumpkins and just glue them to the bottom. And I just left this as is. I think this one is really cute. And every time you have fall decor, you don't just leave it sitting alone anyway. So this might look weird if it was by itself, but I think this looks cute with like a bunch of like you got like corn stalks, pumpkins, other pumpkins. I think it's adorable. So this sign is also from Dollar Tree and I didn't know what I was going to do this when I picked it up. I just thought that it looked really cool and I was like, I'll figure something out if I have to buy two or three or four and like make a long sign or something with it. But I decided to go along with this same placemat, first placemat. This is what the fourth or fifth DIY now. I'm not sure I lost track, but I decided to just cut this down and just add this placemat part to one like the bottom side of the sign, of course, with a glue stick. Now I'm just using this gather word piece. It is a faux leather, and I think this was from Dollar Tree last year. It could be from Hobby Lobby, but I'm almost positive it was a Dollar Tree find from last year. And I just put this along the top and that is honestly all I did for this sign. And I think this one is really cute. You don't need a ton, you don't need a ton of stuff on every single piece that you make. So I thought this one turned out perfect. mat is back again at Dollar General. I used this last year in a place mat video and I'll link that one down below for you guys too so you can check it out. But I decided to just to cut a bunch of these pumpkins out and I am just going to be gluing them to this galvanized box here. I've had this for a while. I've used it in a DIY but I thought you know what this needs like some good fall vibes to it. So I just decided to add all of these pumpkins to the side. I cut out two for each side and then I just added some florals on the inside and I think this turned out adorable.
last DIY, I'm using this placemat and I'm using a long wooden sign from Dollar Tree. So this is what it looks like. And I love these signs usually as is. I don't really like messing with them or changing them around, but I decided for this video, I'm going to have to. So for this placemat, I actually tore this entire thing apart. I wanted to use every little piece that this one had to offer uh, on the placemat. I did end up painting this sign in the Waverly chalk paint in white and I kind of wish I would have just grabbed a white one because I know that they had those on hand but I have a few more of these wooden pieces I plan on doing something fun with if it turns out. So I, I don't like saying I'm like 100% going to use these because I may use them and then it doesn't turn out the way I want. Uh, once the white was dry, I did just go in with the color steel and this is by Waverly as well and I'm just using a dry brush or that's not a dry brush, it's a chip brush. And I'm just dry brushing this sign because that placement had like some like gray lines through it. And although it's not gonna completely match up, I did just kind of want it to match just a little bit more than what just all white sign would have done. And then now I'm just laying all the pieces out to figure out exactly how I wanna make this sign. So it was a placemat, it's like a placemat turning into a sign, but would have had like a larger piece or a larger wood piece I probably would have just left the placemat to its entire entirety 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 it's still pretty early for me so cut me some slack here uh, and then I would have just like glued it to a sign and like made like a fun board or something you can really do anything you choose to with it uh, but for this I just decided to just glue it on have a longer sign and that is what I did for this and I think this one is adorable I did end up taking that steel once again and just kind of dry brushing over the top of the placemat just to see or just to see if it would like just work a little bit better I mean I'm doing my best here these are placemats but overall I think this one turned out really cute Last thing I did just to give it some texture just some depth I just added these wooden pumpkins from that little sticker pack that I used some of the leaves from Hobby Lobby like I said it might have been a while ago since I picked these up so I don't know if they're still there you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love you consider sticking around and subscribing. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.